Acupressure Techniques, a guide to self-practice. Acupressure draws its roots from traditional Chinese medicine. It is a unique technique that involves precise pressure on specific points on our body. These points, known as acupressure points, were not chosen randomly. Each of them is responsible for different parts and functions of our body. The whole philosophy of acupressure is based on the idea that our body is permeated with an invisible life force, called qi. By applying the right pressure on acupressure points, we aim to release the flow of this energy, which can be blocked or hindered by various ailments or stress. So, acupressure is not just a pain relief technique. It's a tool that can help us improve our overall well-being, balance our emotions, and also in unlocking and optimizing the natural self-healing processes that our body performs incessantly. The goal is to achieve a state of complete harmony and balance between the body, mind, and spirit, leading to health and full vitality. Acupressure also has invaluable power in combating stress and anxiety. We live in a world that constantly requires us to keep up, not giving us time to regenerate. Thanks to acupressure techniques, we can pause this galloping world for a moment, focus on ourselves and release accumulated tension. This allows for the recovery of inner peace and balance, and consequently, reducing the level of stress and anxiety. But that's not the end of the benefits that come with the practice of acupressure. It also affects our overall well-being, helping to rebuild inner harmony and balance. It acts like a subtle note that renews the melody of our life, making us more relaxed, content, and full of energy. Such are the miracles of acupressure. It not only eases pain, but also adds breath to life, making us more vital and full of energy. That's why so many people around the world benefit from this extraordinary technique. Acupressure points, referred to as meridians, are special places on our body that are like keys to our inner well-being. Each of them has unique properties and, when properly stimulated, can provide relief in various ailments. These points are not randomly distributed. They are located on energy paths, which are like highways for our life energy, known as qi. Each path is associated with different organs and systems in our body, creating an invisible but essential network that keeps us in balance. When acupressure is performed on these specific points, it stimulates the flow of qi, which in turn can help alleviate pain, calm the mind, improve sleep, and increase overall vitality. It's as if we're playing an extraordinary instrument, which is our body. Each acupressure point is a string, and by pressing them appropriately, we can create a harmonious melody of health and well-being. Before you start your journey with acupressure, remember a few key aspects that will help you fully benefit from this practice. The first and most important is a comfortable place. It can be a quiet corner of your home, a comfortable bed, or a specially prepared massage table. The key is that you feel at ease and safe. Acupressure is not a practice that requires awkward positions or effort. This is time for you time when you can just be and focus on yourself. Remember, acupressure is not just a technique, but also a way to connect with yourself on a deeper level. So prepare for this journey with an open mind and heart. Listen to what your body is telling you during the exercises. If you don't have much time, don't worry. Just five minutes to perform three simple acupressure points is enough. By pressing on these three points, you can feel healthier and happier. Are you ready to start? There really is no better time. Start by warming up your hands, gently rubbing them against each other for a few seconds. Imagine the warmth penetrating through the skin, reaching the muscles, and starting to prepare your hands for the exercise. Then focus your attention on the middle of your palms. Right there, in the center of the palm, will lie our first acupressure point. Use the thumb of your right hand to press on the center of your left palm. As you inhale, press hard, but not so hard as to cause you pain. And then, as you exhale, release the pressure. Repeat this process for 60 seconds. At first, this may cause you some discomfort, but you will find that over time this exercise benefits your health. You may wonder why this particular point is so important. Well, there are many acupressure points in the hands. And the center of the palm is nothing but the center of all internal organs, so by pressing on this point, you can improve overall well-being and health. After a minute, 
release the pressure and let your hands rest, breathe. Now it's time for the other hand. Repeat the same process, this time using the thumb of your left hand to press on the center of your right palm. The second acupressure point I would like to introduce you to is the area located between the thumb and index finger. This point, often called the gate of harmony, is a great place to alleviate headaches or toothaches. Start by extending your hand in such a way that the thumb and index finger are as separate as possible. You will notice that a shape resembling the letter V forms between these two fingers. Right in this place, at the deepest point of this V, is the point we want to stimulate. Take your other hand and use its thumb and index finger to gently grasp this point. Your fingers should encircle the V area, the thumb should be at the back of the hand, and the index finger at the front. Imagine making a light squeeze with your fingers. Now start pressing this point. Make gentle, circular movements with your fingers, as if you were trying to perform a mini massage of this area. The pressure should be consistent, but should not cause pain, try to adjust it to your comfort. While your fingers are engaged, the rest of your body should remain relaxed. Focus on your breath, inhale deeply and evenly. With each inhale, imagine energy flowing into the place you are pressing, and with each exhale, tension and pain leaving your body. The effects of this pressure can vary, some feel warmth penetrating to the place of pressure, others feel a slight pulsation. This is normal and means that energy is starting to flow freely through your body. After about a minute, release the pressure and let your hands relax. You can repeat the same exercise on the other hand. Regular practice of this type of exercise can bring relief from pain and improve overall well-being. The last of the acupressure points I would like to introduce you to is a place related to the digestive system, and its stimulation can help reduce gas and improve digestion. To find this point, place your left forearm on your knee, turning your palm upwards. Then place the three middle fingers of your right hand on the wrist of your left hand. For this, align the index, middle, and ring fingers parallel to the wrist line, so that the ring finger is right at the wrist bend. The acupressure point we are interested in is located behind the third finger, which is the index finger. This is a place at least three centimeters away from the wrist bend towards the elbow bend. By pressing on this area, you should feel a small indentation. Now, to stimulate this point, use the thumb of your right hand. Gently place your thumb on this spot. As you inhale, press firmly on this point, and as you exhale, release the pressure. Repeat this action for about 60 seconds. The pressure should be firm, but it should not cause you pain. While performing this exercise, focus on your breath. Breathe in slowly and deeply, then exhale just as slowly, imagining tension leaving your body. You should press each of these points for a full 60 seconds, and perform the exercise on both hands. All these exercises are simple, but when performed regularly, they can bring many health benefits. The three points discussed are just basic acupressure points. If you want to learn more about this, look for specialized publications. Acupressure requires practice and commitment. The real benefits of this healing art begin to reveal themselves when we incorporate it into the rhythm of our life. Wondering how to find time for acupressure practice amidst the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Here are a few suggestions that can help you incorporate this practice into the rhythm of your life. Acupressure does not require hours of dedication. Even a few minutes a day can bring significant benefits. It could be a moment just after waking up when the body is still relaxed from night rest. Or maybe a moment in the evening, when you need to unwind after a day full of challenges. Did you know that even a lunch break at work can become a perfect moment for a mini acupressure session? Just a few minutes to stimulate points on your hands or feet, giving yourself a moment of breath and relaxation. Choose moments that are natural for you and do not force haste. Regularity and consistency are key here, but above all, Remember patience and kindness to yourself. Every minute spent on this practice is an investment in your health and well-being. Thank you for your attention. The film co-financed by the European Union.